Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, I'm going to show you how to take a paper placemat and make these sweet bags. It is the easiest method ever. Stay tuned. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Today, I'm not going to take up much of your time. I am going to show you a very simple way to take one of those paper placemats and turn it into a bag. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera and y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all. So here's a closer look at my bags. Now when finished, my bags are approximately five and a half inches across, nine inches high, and they are two inches deep. So these are some nice size bags that you can put all types of goodies in. And what I like is that the bags can be made to be flat folded like this. And then when you need to put them together, you just add some adhesive join the bag and you will have this nice size bag but look at this flat fold you can stack so many of these and then when you need them pull them out so if you're making bags to use at a craft fair this is a very simple way of making them and flat folding them so here's how simple it is to make them so i have one of those gnome paper placemats and I have two pieces of chipboard. This chipboard is what I'm going to use to help make the bags. I have one piece that is one inch by 12 and one piece that is two inches by 12. If you have scrap chipboard, this is a great way of using them without having to pull out a scoreboard or a ruler. So here's what we're going to do. So let's take our paper placemat and I'm going to fold it over like this and I want to make sure that the top and the bottom are even. So I'll go ahead and just crease that part. Then I'm going to take this piece and when I fold it over, I'm going to fold it over so that about an inch actually overlaps on the back. Like that. And this is the method that you're going to use regardless of the size of the placement that you're using. Just make sure that when you overlap on the back, you're overlapping with at least half an inch to an inch. So you'll have a way of applying your adhesive and sticking the two pieces together. All right, y'all, so here comes the really easy part and I'm zoomed in for this. We're going to take that one inch strip of chipboard or you can use scrap cardstock and just align it along the edge like this. So edge to edge, these two are even. So then we're just going to take this, bring it up, and we're going to get that crease. So all I'm doing is taking my finger and pressing it along the chipboard. And now hopefully you can see that crease. I'll take that crease, fold it over, like that. We'll do the same thing on this side. We're going to take our chipboard piece or cardstock piece. Even if you want to use a ruler, you can. I'm lining it up. And now I'll just bring that up so that I can crease. There's that crease. So I'm just going to fold it over like that. Now if you're good at eyeballing your sides, you can eyeball the side and do it that way. I just decided that I wanted to use those little templates. So that helps to guarantee that I have nice even placement on side to side. So now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to take that two inch piece. put it down and we're going to do the same thing. And now I can take it, open it, and you can see that I have my score marks. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce this particular score mark because I didn't. So 
So now that we have our score marks, we make our cuts. So we're going to make our cuts here, and I'm angling on both sides, and then on this side. So this center cut here, we don't make any cuts there. Do the same thing over here. So now that we have all of our cuts made, I am going to just reduce these tab pieces just a little bit. Don't want them to be as long as they are. So now we're just going to take it and pretty much do a reverse fold on those scores. And now we have our flat folded bag. So I am just going to take my finger, give this a nice little creasing. And so now you can see that I have a nice overlap here. I'll be able to join these two together. I'm going to join it together with my tape. So I'll add some tape right along here. And then I'll add some tape to this piece right along here. And now I can take this, fold it over, and y'all we have a beautiful even flat fold bag. So like I said that process is going to work no matter the size that you're working with. The key is how wide do you want your bag to be. I used a one inch on the sides because when we open it, the way I had it folded, it double scored. So it gave me an inch on this side and an inch on this side to get the two inches. And then I only needed to use that two inch piece down at the bottom. So when you're making your bag, it really does depend on the measurements that you want for your bag. How deep do you want it to be? If you want it to be three inches, then your bottom piece to go along the bottom would be three inches. And then you cut this piece at one and a half so that when you placed it down and fold over, you're getting two halves that are one and a half inches each. So hopefully that makes sense because I think that this is a super simple way of being able to make a bag. Now we're going to go ahead and put this bag together. And to put it together, we just open it, fold in those sides. I'll add just a little bit of glue right there. And then I'll fold over the back flap. The back flap has the seam. And then I'll add some glue here. And we'll fold this over. Then I can stand it up and get it nice and stuck. And y'all, there we have a very simple but beautiful flat fold bag. All we have to do now is fill it. And you can see that it is truly a bag. So imagine all those beautiful paper placemats turned into bags used for box covers, however you want to use them. But I did want to make sure that I share this really simplified way of making a paper bag using a paper placemat. So we have it flat folded and then we have it in bag shape. So I think that this is one of those tutorials that you definitely want to save to a playlist because if you ever need to make a flat fold bag, whether you're using wrapping paper or paper placemats or sheet paper, this is a great process for being able to turn that into a paper bag, even if you're using newspaper. The process is the same, it works. And then one last thing, if you want to reinforce the bag, add a piece of chipboard to the bottom or some scrap cardstock. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this super simple way of making a paper bag using a paper placemat. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing 
online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.